what you're looking at now is a little bit of the aftermath from Hurricane Helene, one of the deadliest hurricanes to hit America in a very, very long time. Unfortunately, as of today, over 200 people are confirmed dead. That number is very likely significantly higher. There's a lot of missing persons reports out, and they just can't confirm where these people are. But unfortunately, it is likely that this number is much higher than 223. This is updated as of October 4th. By the time you're watching this, this number might be significantly higher. Anyways, so more than a week later, some residents and communities remain isolated. Hundreds of thousands are still without power and spotty service has made communication difficult. And unfortunately, but not unexpectedly, the United States government has completely failed its people. Here's a clip of Joe Biden being asked about what's going on in the states where the storm hit. And you'll notice it's almost like he has no idea what's going on. What do the states in the storm zone need, Mr. President? Okay. What do the states in the storm zone, what do they need after what you saw today? Oh, in the storm zone? Yes, sir. I'm wondering what storm you're talking about. The, uh, they're getting everything they need. And uh, they're very happy across the board. I'm sorry, but what a f pathetic response from the leader of our nation. Now look, I know and you know that Joe Biden is completely incompetent and the Democrats are mostly incompetent. But there are people who are dead because of this hurricane. And Joe Biden says, yeah, they have everything they need. They're happy. Doesn't even really know what storm they're talking about. He has no idea what's going on. The American people are literally suffering for a variety of reasons, but specifically because a massive hurricane just hit our country. The job of the federal government is to step in when crises like this occur. It just breaks my heart, you know, that we allow this man to parade himself around as acting president. You got Kamala Harris campaigning, not really even addressing the issue, and we're not even legitimately helping the people who are being most impacted by the hurricane. Just for contrast, Joe Biden doesn't know what's going on and Kamala Harris hardly cares. Here's a clip of Donald Trump actually on the scene trying to legitimately help the people, despite the fact that he's not even the president. Say it. I'm not thinking about voters right now. I'm thinking about lives. And to be honest, it's uh much bigger than anything else, but we're thinking about lives, a lot of lives lost, a lot of people missing, and uh, that's what I'd be focused on right now. So Donald Trump's out there supporting the people, but I made a claim earlier that the United States government is not doing enough. And what I'm going to do is show you why. So what's going on here? Kamala Harris announced that they're giving $750 from FEMA, which is the federal emergency organization that we have literally designed for situations just like this. If there is a hurricane, they are supposed to send out people, f food, water, assistance to these areas, and ideally mitigate how bad the situation is. So we're giving them $750, but for some people, it's actually only a loan. So if you have insurance that covers temporary housing reimbursements, they will loan you $750, but you gotta pay it back. So the government is literally just saying, let's pretend to be a bank for a little bit. So that's messed up in my mind. We give all this money. Here's, this a nice little breakdown. In this year alone, the United States government has given $24 billion to Ukraine, 11 billion to Israel, 1 billion to Ethiopia, or closer to 2 billion, let's go 2 billion to Ethiopia, Billion and a half to Jordan, billion and a half to Egypt, billion dollars to Afghan, billion dollars to Somalia, a billion dollars to Yemen, almost a billion to the Congo, almost a billion to Syria, $9,000 per illegal immigrant that's entered the United States. And Americans who lost everything in Hurricane Helene will be getting $750 potentially just as a loan, courtesy of FEMA. Why don't you let me know down in the comments? 
Is this acceptable? How does it feel knowing that the United States government prioritizes the good and welfare of people on the other side of the planet? People are dying. People are dead. Families lost everything. People lost everything. Towns are destroyed. No problem giving Ukraine $25 billion, but you, person who lost everything, everything. And not just the things you own. Your communities are destroyed. Here's $750 that you might have to pay back depending on your situation. Don't worry, though. Zelensky, he's loving that $25 billion we just gave him. Is it so wrong for me to think that maybe, God forbid, maybe I'm just a right-wing extremist, maybe we could try prioritizing the American people? One time. And if you're thinking to yourself, Beans, what happened to all the money in FEMA? So Mayorkas just warns that FEMA doesn't have enough funding to last through hurricane season. Well, obviously, this was just a couple of days ago. Considering you're only giving $750 to American citizens who might have to pay that back. So you might be asking yourself, was there an error in the budget? Did we just not allocate enough funds to FEMA? What's going on here? Well, interestingly enough, FEMA spent almost a billion dollars on housing illegal immigrants. That's right. So this is actually separate from the $9,000 and an earlier point I made. The $9,000 that we put towards every illegal immigrant in just the last year. Okay? This is just how much FEMA spent on housing illegal immigrants. I want you to think about this. Instead of using the money that is supposed to be for American citizens during disaster like Hurricane Helene because disaster does strike and we need to be prepared for it. So instead of having money in the bank to resolve that issue, we're now what? Giving a billion dollars to illegal immigrants? Because why? Because f the American people? Because that's the message I'm getting and you can let me know down in the comments. What else are you supposed to take away from this? Why are our tax dollars continuously going to non-American citizens? Whether it be illegal immigrants or people in Ukraine. Why? For the love of God, why are we not helping our own? And even when we do try to help our own, here's a post from Elon Musk. And there's a big thread going on on this, but I'll try to give you the Reader's Digest version of it. Pretty much. SpaceX engineers are trying to deliver Starlink terminals and supplies to devastated areas in North Carolina. FEMA, he was reaching out, he was tweeting at people, he's saying, hey, we want to deliver supplies, we want to ensure people have access to internet, we want to pretty much offer as many resources as possible. Elon Musk said this. Very powerful person, access to resources, awesome. Unfortunately, FEMA is both failing to help and won't let others help. This is unconscionable. They just took this video a few hours ago. We can see the level of devastation, roads, videos, electricity, water supply, ground, internet connections, completely destroyed. And they literally wouldn't let him help. So here's, here's just a little bit of some more clips of what it looks like there. This is, there's supposed to be things there, mind you. It doesn't just look like that always. You see, there's a road there. Completely destroyed. Infrastructure destroyed. And for some reason, the United States government is not letting regular people help. Here's a clip of a woman breaking down how she had to apply for a permit to help people. Let's watch. They really got us out here. Applying for permits to help people. Like helping people became a profession. You need to apply for a permit for a request permission to help people that's fucking insane that's insane you, you'll stand there watching waiting for the order like yeah I guess you can help them you need an order you need someone's order in order for you to have permission to help people that's where we're at Insane. In the there are literally hundreds of first-hand accounts 
that are pretty much parroting this exact same story, whether it be blockades of people not being able to get into certain areas to help people or people not allowed to deliver the resources or needing a permission slip to help people. I mean, the government has completely failed the American people. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, you have completely failed the American people. The Democrat administration, you have completely failed the American people. This is absolutely embarrassing. American citizens are dead, suffering, lost everything they owned, lost loved ones. And what are we doing? We can't even, people can't even help these people. We give them $750 maybe as a loan. I don't know what else to think other than they must not care about the American people. That's the only logical conclusion I can come to. But you can let me know down in the comments what you think about all that. It's time to get the current administration, Kamala Harris, out of office. It is time to put in some quality leaders in America who actually care about the American people, who will put the American people first. Because... I know it's a wild concept, but as an American citizen, I would like it if somebody, God forbid, prioritized the American people. On that note, there's a link to register to vote down below. I don't care where you live. Go out and vote for Donald Trump and vote Republican down your ballot. Vote early. Vote in person. Vote by mail. I don't care how you vote, but make a plan to vote. Make a plan right now to go out and vote so we can start prioritizing the American people and not illegal immigrants and Ukraine. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day. And hey, if you made it this far and you want to support the channel, link to some merchandise down below, some Vote Trump merch. I appreciate the support.